Hi, uh, Thomas Campbell here with Second Swing Golf out here with uh, Mike Hearn today down in California. Got the chance to test out the new uh, Speedback F9 drivers. Really good experience. Love the new product. Yeah, no, it was great to have you here. Uh, I know as fitters, we kind of like, we're always looking for kind of impact locations. Uh, we kind of started you out kind of in the traditional length. I noticed after about 10 swings, that really wasn't kind of your game. Like we noticed that the impact was maybe a little low heel. So a couple things I did as a fitter, just to kind of get you in a more optimized F9 experience was, we went to maybe a little shorter shaft. It's a tour length, 44 and a half inch. Uh, also, we went from a nine degree head because Thomas likes to kind of hit the ball maybe a little lower. He's got a little bit quicker ball speed. So typically the nine degree head's going to be a good candidate, especially if you want a little flatter lie angle. Maybe your miss is a little quick left. In his case, he does make to see the ball turn a little bit right to left, but with the nine degree head, we're just getting him to push the golf ball a little bit. So we switched over to a 10.5 head, turned that down to nine degrees of launch or nine degrees of loft, and then we put in the shorter shaft, and all of a sudden the numbers on the track man were fantastic. Yeah, it was uh, it was a little noticeable that to see the, the shorter shafts right away. I said, hey, this looks shorter but I didn't lose any distance. If anything, I picked up distance by just catching the middle of the club face more. That was that was huge. I mean, spin rate also dropped a lot because I was no longer hitting on that heel. And also, amazing how straight it just went. Yep. I mean, I was I was a couple of bad swings there, missing out to the right. Didn't do that once with, with this setup, so that was really, really good. No, yeah, we definitely got the window that you're looking for. You know, launching it right around 11, his spin rate was anywhere between 2,000 and 22 and he was getting that ball to turn just a little bit right to left so it kind of fit the window and from a dispersion standpoint it was right on the line so i think it kind of covered all all the bases there and in terms of where his ball speed we talk about smash factor a lot so that's your ball speed divided by club head speed so 1.5 is a perfect relationship when we got the right fit the right shaft and everything perfect we got it up to 1.5 so we're getting optimal numbers here yeah, no, it was really, really good. Um, really felt like I was hitting it right out of the middle of the club face. Really felt really solid too. It didn't feel like it was tingy or anything like that with some other drivers. Just felt solid, smooth, crisp. You know, it was really, really good. So I'm really impressed with the driver so far. Absolutely. Yeah. What did you think about the, the Crown Cosmetics or looking down on it? So looking down on it, there's two different finishes. This is kind of like a gloss and a matte finish. I liked the, the matte finish slightly better. A little bit sunny here today to have my sunglasses on, so it was kind of nice to, you know, have, a, have that to look down at. Everything is lined up nicely. Essentially, everything helped make myself line it up in the middle of the club face, so that was really, really good. So, pretty good stuff. Yeah, so, thank yeah. you.